G. All right, Alan, so you came in to see the uh, 2020 Explorer, correct? Uh, yep. Sure. Um, Alan, did you happen to see the internet price? I, I did, yeah. Um, okay, do you remember how much the discount was? Uh, no, not really. I, I don't remember it was. Okay, though. the discount was $5,575, okay? That had to be part of what attracted you to come and see us today, I'm going to guess. Yeah, yeah I'd say okay. so. Do you have any questions about um, our internet pricing? I mean, other than the obvious one, though. Um, the obvious one would be? I mean, how much lower can you go? Okay. Um, good question. Uh, that's a question that tells me that uh, there's evidence that you're a perfectly normal human being, Alan. Um, and the answer is we're not going to go any lower because we had to go real low to get you here. Uh, Alan, uh, when was the last time you bought a car? Man, uh, a couple of years ago. Okay. Um, when you bought the car a couple years ago, did you have to engage the dealership personnel, whether it was a salesman or a sales manager or whoever, in a long, protracted negotiation? Uh, yeah. A lot of back and forth? Mm, yeah. A lot of, uh, they'll do this if you'll do this, and you would counter with, I'll do this if you'll do this. Yeah, then the sales manager, you know, would tell the this salesperson is, to come yep, back and tell yep. them whatever. The Wizard of Oz controlling everything behind the screen. Yep. Okay, how much fun was that, uh, Alan? It, it sucked. Okay. Well, you and 100 million other Americans agree that it's the most distasteful part of the automotive purchase process. You'll be glad to know that lots of things have changed in the last couple of years. All the changes that have taken place are good for you. And by the way, all the changes that have taken place have been forced upon our industry. It's not like we wised up um, or became more, you know, kinder and gentler. We're having to do it the customer's way these days. We are, we're in a position now where we are literally helping people buy cars as opposed to um, selling cars. Look, you, you did a bunch of research, right? Yep. You don't need anybody to sell you anything, do you? No. Okay. Um, what's changed? Well, first of all, what you had to fight for in the past, Alan, uh, is now served up to you on a silver platter. If we had not deeply pre-discounted that vehicle, um, would we even be having this conversation? Man, probably not. Um, I'm going to guess we were not the only website you checked out? Uh, no, I found you on a car guru actually. Um, and car gurus probably represents a, you know 50 or 60 dealers within a 200 mile radius. Yeah. If uh, and I'm going to guess when you punched in the vehicle you were interested in, you didn't hit the drop down list that ranked them from highest price to lowest price. <laughs> Other way around. Uh, lowest to highest, then, which is what everybody does. Had we not appeared on the first page, Alan, we wouldn't be talking, would we? Okay, but you're wondering how much better can we do because in the past, the dealer's first offer was never their best offer. Well, I told you things have changed and the reason things have changed is the massive movement to online shopping. Now what we're forced to do, and I say forced, and I mean forced, we are forced to literally deeply pre-discount the vehicle to get you here. If we don't do that, our phones don't ring, our email inboxes don't fill up, nobody shows up. What you've had to fight for in the past, you are literally served up on a silver platter now, Alan, because if we don't serve it up to you, you don't show up. Here's the crazy part. Software prices our vehicles. Software prices our vehicles based on demand. It bases, it bases, um, price, it prices them based on the market. Um, we go out five, six hundred miles, match up every vehicle we have in our inventory, new and used, against every other one out there. And we're going to be at or below market every time. And you know what? The time on the lot even affects the price of the vehicle. The longer the vehicle's on the lot, the more discounts the vehicle enjoys. However, obviously, one like you picked out isn't going to stay on the lot very long because of its popularity. However, the long and the short of it is all the heavy lifting when it comes to getting a great price has been done for you. It's what attracted you here. Now, this applies to every Ford store in the, uh, in the region, okay? Um, however, we've taken it one step further. We're going to guarantee you in writing, and this is going to sound a little crazy, Alan. Um, we're going to guarantee you in writing that the price you pay for any one of our new vehicles is going to be the lowest price you will find on a comparable vehicle anywhere in the country.
Now, if you're not a bit skeptical, I'd be worried about you. Let me explain how it works. First of all, the policy is in writing. It's called our best value guarantee, and it reads very simply. Once you take delivery today of that new Explorer, you've got five days to check out any other Ford website you want to. Check them out in North Carolina, check them out in Virginia, check them out in South Carolina, check them out in Idaho, Arizona, New Mexico, California, doesn't matter. A, you know you can find the exact same Explorer somewhere else. And if you do find the exact same Explorer with the same features and benefits, advertised for a lower price, doesn't have to be sold, just advertised for a lower price, Alan, all you have to do is show us that website. We will cheerfully cut you a check back for the difference no questions asked. Alan, has any dealer ever made that commitment before to you and put it in writing? No. Alan, as good, a, as good as that may sound, if it's not the right vehicle, there's no such thing as the right price, let's go check out the Explorer. Let's go experience it, make sure it's right for you, okay? Stick, leave it on, leave it on. Um, Al, what's the purpose of that conversation? Number one is to alleviate the negotiation later on. After to, to suppress his innate need to negotiate. 